Hey guys, it's Lala and you're watching Lala Tarot. We are going to take a look at the 78 Tarot Halloween. Um, I just got this one today in the mail. I'm so excited about opening this up. This is a Kickstarter deck and I'm like new to Kickstarter. I was always like one of those people who was on the fence about it because I didn't know like, am I going to get this product or, you know, I'm taking a a risk with that but you know there are certain decks that come out on Kickstarter that you're like oh I really want to give that a try and this was one of them for me so um my understanding is that this is kind of like a little spooky deck uh I don't know much about it I just really hopped in I saw what I liked I put my pledge in and then we're gonna go from there I have not opened it yet so I don't know nothing about what's going on but yeah i wanted to show you guys this one it's the 78 tarot halloween i think i got this off kickstarter for 55 dollars. that's how much i have to pledge for it so not bad you know not bad at all but let's jump in they gave me this little thank you packet so let's see what's in here and let's let's just do that first and then we'll look at the deck. So let's see. I always get myself little like gifts around Christmas time. In addition to everybody else, I wanna make sure I do gifts to myself. So let's see, we got, I think this is like some stickers. This is cute. Oh, I like that. Oh no, this is a magnet. So you can put this somewhere. This is a magnet. That's cool. We got a book marker. I love this. You guys know I love ghosts and goblins. I had just um, started a whole ghosts and goblins collection this year for Halloween season. And I got a couple of the other decks that I want to add to that collection. But this one, um, but yeah, so I got all the little ghosts and stuff. But I, I like this. So this is a little bookmark. It's so cute. I love that. Okay, we got a couple little cards. Oh, these are nice. Look at this. I like that. The back is just clear, so you can write whatever you want to write on here. You can write a spell. You can do like um, an affirmation. You can set an attention. You could do a lot of stuff with this. I like that too. Then we have this one same thing it's signed there oh they are okay so they're both signed let me see let me move my nail stuff out of the way because i'm on my my nail table um they're signed i was so excited about the picture but i missed that death i think this little says i can't read that but look how cute they're signed Look at that. We got the owl. We also got this one. This is so cute. I wonder what I'm gonna do with it. I might journal with it. I'm not sure yet. They gave us a lot too. Look how cute. This one. I actually got quite a few cards just like this. Maybe I'll make an oracle out of it. Yeah, like I got a, quite a few other cards that are similar to this from other decks I've bought. Maybe I'll try to see if I can find those and I might make some sort of like oracle and write something on the back or whatever. I'm good for making my own oracles. So yeah, these are super cute. Okay. So you guys can probably tell already just from these cards that this is going to be a really spooky deck. I am very much so still in my spooky season. I know that we're heading towards Christmas, but I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. I want a little bit more Halloween. I want a little bit more fun and ghosts and goblins and pumpkins, you know, a little bit more leaves 
you know, I want to wear my sweater or my boots a little while longer. So, I mean, obviously you can wear those in the winter time too, but you know what I'm saying? Like I want that fall haunted house sort of energy. I love it. So here's the deck and this is the top of it. It's orange cute, right? And it comes with like, it looks like it's a sleeve. So you're going to slide the box out just like that. Okay. And you have your sleeve. I need to show you the sleeve first. That's the sleeve. You can keep it or not keep it. It's up to you. I like that though. And here's your box. So nice. This is quality. It's even like kind of heavy, y'all. I like it. This is the limited edition global art collaboration. 78 Tarot Halloween Tarot of Trick or Treat. And I'm here for it. Now, it does say 78 Tarot presents their 10th collaborative tarot deck. 78 Tarot Halloween Tarot of Trick or Treat. Our 10th deck brings together masterful artists from every part of the globe to create a masterpiece to honor Halloween, All Hallows, Eve, and Samhain. Okay, so let's open her up. Ooh, she opens on the side. She's a little magnet. I like it. Okay. All right, guys. So here we have it. Oh, that's so pretty. That's nice, right? Let me open up. Let me get the cards out. Now, there's no guidebook. They just sent me a link, actually, for something PDF. So, I think the guidebook is PDF. This is the inside of the box. By pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. William Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. I'm all for all the wishy stuff. Okay, that's so cute. So, that's your box. I think that's really creative. I love how creative that is. So again, you're going to get your, you know, this little slip on cover. You're going to also get the uh, magnetic flip box. So that's cool. Now the cards have black um, matte gilding and they're actually pretty large. I'm not, I wasn't expecting them to be this big. Let me take the plastic off of here. Um, but I wasn't expecting these cards to be this large. Let me get you guys a standard tarot so you can see how much bigger they are compared to that. Let me hold on a second. Let me grab that from over here. I know I got something close by. Okay. I have... Let's open it up. Okay. I have this standard tarot card, okay? And this is the 78 tarot. So take a look at that. It's not only wider by that much, but it's also taller by that much. So this is actually a pretty big card, which I love because I like, I like big cards, right? So let's talk about it. We've got the black mat on the side. We've got something on the top of my deck. I don't know what that is, but we'll hope, hope and pray it can come off. Okay, matte edges. And let's look at each card. They're actually really big, like almost too big for my hand. They are like that card stock. Um, if you guys have the Dark Mansion Tarot, the not the gilded one, with, but the like matte gilded one, the matte edging, it's like that type of thick. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have like the Elemental Tarot with the matte, the black matte on the side, it's like that type of thick. So, um, quality is going to last you for a long time. Now, you do have the words here at the bottom, if you guys can see that, as well as a key word down there. Well, actually, it's not a key word. It's a person, Meredith Dillman. And I don't have a physical guidebook to be able to look this up and tell you exactly about this person. But, you know, we do get one. It's a, um, 
it's like an internet um a e a ebook e guide book you can pull up to kind of look and see what it's all about but let's just flip through the cards and we'll go from there i love it it's so cute this is the fool excuse my nails i gotta do them one of these days when i feel like it <laughs> we got the magician chase henson i have no clue who these are maybe this is the people who created the card like you know how some decks have like different people for each card who created it i don't know i have to i really have to view the guidebook but here we have the magician the high priestess I like that. That's the one we got in our big, uh, our big card over here. The Empress, so pretty, so beautiful. I'm so happy they chose to represent us, beautiful women of color here, with the Empress and the pumpkins. I love all of that. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength. the hermit Wheel of Fortune Justice The Hangman Devil. And the tower. The star. The moon. The sun, judgment, the world, now we're going into our minors, we've got the Spirit of Autumn. Now, again, I don't have this guidebook with me, right? So I can only assume what our suits are. So it looks like we have Autumn. We have Pentacles. Just skipping ahead really quickly so I can see. Swords. And Wands. So with that being said, Autumn must be the Cups. No, this is an extra card. Let me see. This is an extra card. The Spirit of Midnight. These are extra cards. Now we're going into our pentacles. So it looks like the suits are named correctly. Uh, cups, yep, they're named just the same. So they have not changed those, which is awesome. So we have our Ace of Pentacles. So two. Three. Four of Pentacles. 
Bye bye. Six. Number seven of pentacles. I like this. I just love the pumpkins. The eight of pentacles. The nine of pentacles. Love eight. Yes. Meredith Dillman. I'm going to be looking this up. As soon as I get done, I'm going to be looking at that guidebook because I want to know a little bit more about these names at the bottom. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. The Page of Pentacles. How cute. The Knight of Pentacles. The Queen. And the King. Our Ace of Swords. Two. Three. Four. And five of Swords. Hmm. That's interesting. The Six of Swords. The Seven. The Eight of Swords. Nine. And ten of swords. Our page. Our knight. Our queen of swords. Moving on to our wands. We have our ace of wands. Two. I like this. The three of wands. I really like that. The four. It's busy. This is a really busy card. Which I like because you can like pull something different from it each time that you read it. So that's pretty cool. This is our last suit, guys. Ace of Cups, my favorite card in tarot. I love it. The Two of Cups, my second favorite card in tarot. So cute. Oh, the Three of Cups. That's kind of cool. That's different. The Four. Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, the 
the Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups. The Nine. I love this card too. And the Ten of Cups. My third favorite card in tarot. I love the Ten of Cups. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's so cute. All right. Court cards here. Page of Cups. The Knight. We have our Queen. And our King of Cups. All right, guys, I wanted to come in and let you know what this 78 Tarot Halloween edition looks like. And I love it. I think it's great. The card stock. I mean, I'm going to have fun with this baby. And I'm excited about shuffling it, working with it. It really feels like it's going to last forever with its card stock. It's so thick. So let me know, guys, you know, what you think about this. Did you like this? Is this something that you're gonna pick up? Um, what's your thoughts on this one? You guys have been watching an unboxing of the 78 Tarot Halloween on Lala Tarot. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.